Hi, yarny friends. Welcome back to my yarn and crochet channel. Today, I have a special treat for you guys. I have pulled out three big tubs. That's kind of like a mix of crochet whips and FOs. Whips are works in progress. FOs are finished objects. I don't think there are any UFOs. UFOs are, of course, unidentified finished objects. So I pulled them out and I'm going to show you what's in these tubs because I am cleaning out my whole yarn space and organizing and this is part of the process. So three big tubs, let me show you. There's one, two, and three. So tonight we are going to be going through those tubs. Hopefully we'll get through them all. I might have to, you know, oh. We'll just <laughs> tub number one. I might have to scoot back my chair a little bit. All right, here's the first one. Opening up the lid. Oh, nice. I've been wondering where this is. This is my not as fluffy tutorial cloth background. My other one is really fuzzy, so I'm glad I found this one so I can use it. Okay. Oh, you guys, this one, these are some crocheted pants. What do you think of my crocheted pants? See, look, these are nice. Let me scoot back a little. I think they might be a little too small for me right now around the waist. I don't know. These were a pattern test for I Love Tinderbox. And she is a wonderful designer. I love how the inside is done. This is what we pull the string through. Isn't that cute? Isn't that a cute way to do the drawstring? And there you go. Then this is the inside. It looks kind of almost pretty enough to be on the outside, doesn't it? And I'm going to link this pattern because I know some of you guys are going to want to make this. This took, I don't remember how many balls of that pound, Lion Brand Pound of Love it took, but that's what I made these out of. And the bottom here is just very simple cuff. They're straight all the way down. And ta-da! You know what? I'm also going to put some pictures up on the screen of me modeling these. So great. Okay, the next thing is, this is a scarf made out of a dis discontinued yarn from Hobby Lobby. Now, let me show you the very special thing about this scarf. Look at the pom-pom fringe. <laughs> this is my creation. I created this beautiful pom-pom fringe. Isn't that fabulous? Like, look at the fabulous. <laughs> look at the fabulousness of this pom-pom fringe. I need to write a pattern for this. Ooh, it smells like fabric softener sheets. That's because that's what I put in all my tubs with my, you know, whips and FOs. Here is a child's hat. That's with just a single crochet back loop only brim. And then bean stitch right there. And I left this part on the top so I can sew in the pom-pom. And that is a yarn bee baby yarn. It's some kind of swirl beanie. But look at that, isn't that cute? It looks like a it looks like um an ice cream cone swirl. Gosh, I wish I could remember what yarn I used for this, but this is another friend of mine that I tested her pattern. I'll remember it and I will put the link for this pattern in the description. That's really cute. I just love how the, how it goes from side to side. And I love this brim. 
That's a really pretty brim. I wish I could remember what yarn I used. Just the older you get, the easier it is to forget things. Oh my gosh. This is an oldie but goodie. This is a onesie. <laughs> it kind of looks like a swimming suit. And let me show you something I think I messed up on. I mean, it's very pretty, isn't it? Except it's, you know what? I think it might fit me now. I, I've like gained 20 pounds since I tried this on. This is by did knit patterns, tested knit patterns for her. But this was a crochet. <sighs> Notorious. No, I don't have a picture of me modeling these. And you can, you know what, guys? I think I might have done it backwards. Okay, because here is the front, but the front kind of looks like that, which is kind of weird. I think that was maybe supposed to be the back, and this was supposed to be the front. <laughs> but that maybe looks like a thong. So, yeah, I think I kind of maybe accidentally did that backwards. I'm not sure. I might need to go back and make it again. And then here's the string. I really like the way the, the string is. Maybe if I get my face out of here. There we go. I need to look at that pattern again. But I love it. It's just like granny squares pieced together with, I believe it's a two weight cotton if I could find the clip from the Yarn Hookers show that that's in, I will show it to you guys. It's so great. Okay, and here is the, here's a tank top that I knitted out of cotton yarn for summertime. And I have another one that's blue stripes, that's like blue and gray stripes that I did. This is also, I have so many pictures of these this was by, in the description. So these must be all FOs, I guess. This is another one of those scarves. This is with the bobble fringe. I gotta tell you, I love this bobble fringe. And this is a, golly, oh. Is this a Karen Cakes? Yeah, I think this is a Karen Cakes. Love that yarn. Might be something else, I don't know, but it sure does look like a four weight. Might be a three weight. You guys tell me if you recognize what yarn this is. And this is, oh, this is a pattern test I did for my friend Court. Like when I, most of these people I met on Instagram, look at this cute cowl. Isn't this, isn't this fabulous? Look at that. I love this so much. And this is Red Heart. What's the one that's, that is just like cookie. Oh, I've got some of it right here. Red Heart, roll with it melange. Do you say melange or melange? melange but that's this yarn I thought it looked really nice with this I love all the mix of the stitches and everything in this see if you guys can pick out all the different kinds of stitches he does a really good he did a really good job designing this okay there's that and here is oh it's a hooded doggy sweater for a little tiny dog this is for a little teeny tiny little teeny tiny dog or kitten or something and what did i use you know you're getting old when you're forgetting things that you should never forget As you can tell, this was one of my favorite patterns for a while, the pattern that I have never written up. And this has the bobble fringe. The bobble fringe, isn't that cool? 
this is uh, this is another yarn bee. I really like this one. I love the weight of this, and these are just like so cute. Isn't that pretty? It's like a black yarn with all those little different furry strings on it. Oh, this one. This is a cowl neck sweater. And that's what it looks like on. This is what it looks like, you know, if I were to just show it to you. Isn't that a pretty sweater? This is, this is all done in Lion Brand Heartland yarn. And I, this was a test pattern that I did for one of my friends. And this is, this is how long the neck is. It's like, it is not a normal turtleneck, as you can see, because that would be way too long, but it's big, so it makes it into a cowl like that. But I love this stitch. It's all done in the star stitch. I don't know if you guys can see that stitch very well. I would have to say that the Heartland yarn from Lion Brand is my favorite Lion Brand yarn. Oh, here's a big cowl that I made for my friend. It was a test pattern for my friend Rox. Are those stitches pretty? This is King Cole, is it Chunky? I think it's King Cole Chunky. And it's just, it's a big, big loose cowl. I'll just, you know, there we go, like that. So yeah, there's that. And I made another one out of a, this is Lion Brand, but this is a, this is a five weight yarn. And this is a five weight yarn, but they're both like different sizes of five weight yarns, if that makes sense. This is a five and a half. I would say this is more a four and a half. And this is the King Cole Chunky. I love those colors. And this is Lion Brand. I forget what the colorway is, but this is like a very, you know, you could also use it as a hooded cowl. I need to weave that end in. And actually, you know what I would wanna do? If I made another one of these, I would want to make it just a little bit longer I don't know, though that's kind of good to where it would hang down. Wait a minute, like, nah, not like that. I like it like this. And then you put your coat on, you've got your coat on, and then you want to bring this down. It's like this. There's that. And what else do I have in here? Oh, this is just an extra I don't know what pattern I used. This is a mandala beanie. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is not a good side. It's a very good basic beanie, but it's, you know, I don't think it would provide much warmth. And here is another now, I know this isn't the bush tracker beanie, but I don't know what beanie this is. Is this one of crystals? Is this one made I made up? I don't know. This is one of the loops and threads, kind of baby type kind of yarns that they had a few years ago. This is a cow that I did for my friend Rox. And tell me you don't just love this. This is, this is gorgeous. 
This is just gorgeous. I guess I could hang my hair out there if I don't want to put it on over my head. But this is, um, gosh, this is, who is it that does this yarn? I need to remember the name of the person who dyes this yarn, but this is three separate hanks of yarn. Look at that beautiful stitch and the beautiful colors. This is a, I believe it's a two weight yarn. And I wanna say it has some cotton in it. But this is my, this is by my friend Rox from Eat Wonder Crochet. And, oh, this is fun. This is, here's a produce bag and another produce bag and another produce bag. These are some bags that I test crocheted. And they go from, this is the biggest one. It's very, these are nice because you can like crumble them up into a very small space. And just like, you know, you could take one of these, put it in your pocket and take it to farmer's market or really even all of them. Yeah, see they're small, medium and large. See, it's just like, oh, hello, I got a bag. So these, I'm gonna have to put these back into the same bag they were in just so I don't lose them. Okay, there's that. Ooh, here is a water bottle pouch. Of course it is. This is cotton. I love this cotton. And I think, I think this is the, it's crochet thread, but I can't remember what crochet thread it is which crochet thread I used. Okay, here <laughs> is a little Easter basket. One year I made up, I don't know how many I made up of these. I think it was after the older girls weren't in the house. So I made up, yeah, I made five of these just exactly like this. I held together a white yarn and some red heart, this color, you know, the, that variegated yarn. And I made five of these, and those were like little mini Easter baskets. This is, oh, these are some of the things that I made that time that Kim from Affordably Crafty sent me a bunch of unconventional materials to crochet with. Here is a beautiful little bag made with ribbon. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Now this is not ends, this is like a little bow tie tied thing, but it's like a little strap. I guess you would just put it on like that. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty. How did I do the bottom? Oh, yeah, it's just a round bottom. It's kind of like a little bag. Okay, this is made with, what is this? It was some kind of weird string. Is it hemp? I think it was hemp. Kim, help me out here. What is this? But it's just like another, it's a little basket. Oh, well, it's been sitting in, in the thing weird. So it really, you know, <laughs> shouldn't be like that. But it's a, it wasn't super comfortable to work with. This is a cute little beret that I made. Do I look cool? It's granny square. It's a granny square beret. What do you think? Should I make a pattern for this? Yeah, not like that. 
I like it. I like it off to the side a little bit. Maybe bring it up. However people wear berets. Are you supposed to bring it over your ears? No, that would look like a mushroom head. Okay, there we go. Do I look like an artist? But this is like a sport weight yarn, just really simple little granny squares with white around the edges. What's this? Oh, this is the same kind of yarn that, I don't know if this is, yeah, this is the same kind of yarn that I made my I don't know this might have to fit on a smaller head this would <laughs> this would fit a normal size human well I could I could wear it like this and people would be like oh look at that cool new hat and I would be like yeah 